this video is a quick update to what I have been doing to my Brompton. I left it at a shop called Bike 48. It's owned and run by a gentleman named Peter. So come along. I'm going to be picking up my Brompton now. And if you guys are interested to find out where the shop is, stay tuned to find out more. the cab and I am here at block 3025 at Ubi Road 3 that's where bike 48 is bike 48 is located on the let me see I think they're on the fourth floor so I'm currently at bike 48 and uh, that's Peter there. And uh, how long have you had this workshop uh, over here? I've been here for a year and a half. A year and a half? This business is five years old. I oh, used to years. work from home. Oh, cool. Okay. So, so it's only been one and a half years? Been in the shop. All right. So cool, man. and a half years work from home. So this one is quite, I was quite um, shocked to uh, hear the guys that were here yesterday and they were saying that, oh, you're one of the most reliable guys around, so... I've been around for a long time. For a long time. But previously, you were just like, home. Based from the home. Home, but I have a very dedicated space. Same size as here. Wow. All stuff from home. Okay. My, my house will be bigger. Right, right, right. Okay, cool. So let's talk a little bit about what... Uh, on my Brompton, this is the Tempest blue color. Is it this Tempest blue? Tempest blue. Tempest blue. Tempest blue. Tempest blue. Okay. So this is... So what have we done for? Should we call this like the stage one. The stage one. The okay. modifying can go very, very deep. Okay, let me get you from this angle. Yeah. So let's talk about um, what has been done to my Brompton so far. Okay. Yeah. The Brompton molding can go really, really deep. This is more like a say a stage one. Okay. So what we had done from the original um, before the bike reaches me. Um, something had happened already, for example, the titanium seat post, right? Um, and the hinge clamp here for the easy unscrewing and fold, 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 folding act, act actions. So, what we have done in the last day also, we had installed a titanium, a full titanium straight, straight bar, right? It gives the bike a good, some sort of strength, very hard. The original ones, they're very light, but they're very thin, so they're very soft. So right. you will want a titanium bar to strengthen your ride. And we had changed this carbon looking fantastic oh, The brake lines. The brake lines and the shifter K cables. This is fantastic looking. It's one of the best sellers that I have in the house. They just go really fast. It comes with a bit of texture looking. So unlike the normal cables, they are flat. I think this has got a bit of textures. It goes through really, really well. Yeah. Cool. And then we change the headset. This is the Chris King brand. Mm -hmm. Chris King is like the reference brand for headset. Everybody would know. It will cost a little bit, but it's the thing that you want to get. It's the thing you want to get. And then we change all this catcher for the Brompton. When you fold, this is the part where it cat catches into titanium. Oh. So it won't rust anymore. It used mm. to be plastic and some steel bolts. Okay, oh, this thing is titanium. Yeah, oh. it's titanium. Oh. All right. And then we have the original Brompton caliper and all the bolts changed to titanium as well. Mm -hmm. This used to be the most easily get rusted parts on the whole bike. Now uh -huh. we convert it into titanium where we freeze. Cool. Right. And then from the front, we actually built a new wheel set for this. Um, what well, rims are these called? So this is called the Azuri. I lace it up with a and These are both Taiwanese. They have been there for a long, long time. Okay. Why we choose this rim? We want a very comfortable and stable ride. These rims are wider than all the ones that you see on the mar mar market and fits all the tires for the Bromptons very, very well. All right. And they're lighter than originals, they're stiffer than originals. Okay. So moving to the rear end of the bike, so this part we haven't done yet, this is where we're going to install the crank. It's right. going to happen in a minute, we're going to put this baby on soon. Okay. It's going to be a token ceramic bottom bracket that we're going to slot on. 
it works well with all the square taper crank including the original wrong bottom and we have in my view this H&H &H, ah. this H&H &H seat post lever is like the best in this class it's very smooth it clamps very well okay there are a lot of other other brands but I would know more this is the one I like the most okay so we have the suspension block we changed to a black titanium bolt here as well okay we changed to the Easier rolling wheels here. Okay, you can yeah, see I deliberately really put a bigger one here, smaller ones here. Ah. The reason that I did that was when you fall, when you push the bike, when you want to do the turn, you want to tilt the bike. Right. So slightly big, bigger ones, your your block won't rub onto the ground. That was that was what uh, Mighty Velo advised me when I was pushing it, yeah. not to hit the suspension block. Yeah. I see. So now you can actually tilt it up. Right. Right. A bit, bit, bit more. Okay. Yep. And then the rear wheel, of course. We want to use the six-speed hub. Okay. So most of the aftermarket wheels, they were two-speed. They will ask you to change in the two-speed hub. Mm -hmm. So what I did is I took the silver color hub. Mm -hmm. I powder coated it into the black to match the theme, and built it with the black rims. So this is like one set now. Cool. Yep. So we are just going to complete the job. Stage one. Stage one. Okay. There's cool. Always a stage two. Okay. So stage two will be powder coating this into black. Perhaps, yes. maybe. <laughs> you can choose whatever black as well. Okay. Metallic black, glossy, matte, even texture. Okay. How long would the process take if I want to powder coat it? Two weeks. Just two weeks? You drop the bike and then you pick up the bike in two, two weeks. Awesome. Okay. There are some ceramic coatings that oh. are very hard. It's done in Singapore? It's done in Singapore. You can do, do that as well. Okay. Um, nice. I, I always like locally stuff done. Which I can go to monitors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot more convenient. Yeah, 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 yeah. Correct. And the turnaround time is two weeks. If you say an overseas, it's two months. Okay. So it is very good. So we're just gonna do the bottom BB and then we are more or less complete, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. What we're gonna do? I'll just uh, leave you to it then. Okay. okay. Just gonna prepare the right chain leaf. So measure, measure, measure. There. Cut right there. Okay. Done. It's done. Yep. So next time when you want to take out the wash, you can actually remove it from here. Right. Last time it was this bolt here. They tightened the shipping cables here. Right. It was a bit loose. Right. Yeah. It's. Um, that's why I lost the gears on the right. Yeah, that's why when you pull, and it's not pulling anything. That's right. So you were on the hardest gear, literally. Exactly. And yeah, you have a very good result. Broke on the perspiration at two thirty a.m. and. <laughs> So now it's fixed. <laughs> so it's supposed to be a nice cool ride back home. <laughs> oh yeah, like a fixie. But then um things do happen sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, it broke. Oh my god, this is the second time in five years. <laughs> This is supposed to be very stiff stuff. Oh my god, yeah, it's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit, oh, no, no, not the pot, it's, it's the bit here. Oh my god, okay. These are the carbons. Oh, done, done, done. Why is it so easy now? So I have to break the teeth. Oh. These oh. are bigger platforms. I want a bigger platform, yeah. This is a smaller one, but this is light, uh, this is lighter, this is slightly heavier. That's fine, I'll get the slightly heavier. Right, yep. Yeah. Yeah, it's all good. Tighten it. One bolt that I need to secure a little bit more. Mm -hmm. here. Uh. Okay, there are a few things that this is a sensor speed that I give to everyone. This is very personal. The saddle height, tilt angle, your grips angle because this will support your palm yeah so everyone 
needs a different kind of support. It's very per, per personal. You can try it, I can help you to adjust them. Okay. Yeah. Or you can go home. If you know how to adjust it at home, you can do that as well. Okay. Uh, but this bolt here is very sensitive. Okay. If it goes over a certain point, it'll break. That one here. Oh, at the bottom. So if you have the, the top wrench, yeah. 5 mm, it's okay. You can go up to about nine before it breaks. I actually test all this stuff. Oh, so okay. it's say five. You really need to tighten the five in order to do it. Right. You can let's do a little bit more. Don't go over nine. Okay. okay. So these ones, if you want to do it at home, to angle actually there's only one bolt here. Mm -hmm. You loosen it, then the whole thing can spin around. Really. So oh. You can do this. Right. You can do that. Right. Or I can do this with you here. Yeah, I think why don't we do that? So guys, this is the final build of my Brompton. I have the H and H titanium rear rack, which I really, really like. And this is the final look of it. So as mentioned by Peter, that was a stage one build on a Brompton. I am growing to like the Tempest Blue that I have, so I'm not enti entirely sure if I'm gonna be uh, powder coating it to black. Let me know what you guys think of my build. Are the Brompton experts out there, if there is anything else I should change or modify on my Brompton that will improve the ride quality, please let me know. And in fact, today I did about almost 25 kilometers on my Brompton. I decided to take it along with me uh, to the uh, MRT and I ended up riding it back home from town, which is like Tanjung Baga. So that was like, I would say almost 20 kilometers back home. So far, I'm very happy with it. If you guys enjoyed the video today, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. and. I would strongly advise all of you to go buy yourself a Brompton. In fact, I think there are a few for sale now on Carousel. So maybe you could uh, get a pretty good deal. So until next time, you guys ride safe and I'll see you soon. Bye.